premature. Sometimes you're called to the premature nursery, and they simply worried about a thing called NEC. What is NEC? NEC uh, is a disease uh, that is acquired, uh, typically seen in premature uh, infants, um, in which the intestines develops an infection uh, with the potential for perforation uh, and uh, death of the intestines. Uh, it's one of the most common cause of death uh, of newborn infants. Why would you be called then if it's an infectious process? When the intestines perforate, uh, these newborn infants oftentimes require surgery uh, in order to gain adequate drainage of the perforation and to resect areas of the intestines that are dead. So in other words, the tissue is dead, there's leakage of fluid that doesn't belong there, so you sort of go and clean up the, the mess that's left because of the perforation. Correct. Uh, and if you get them early enough, you could probably save a lot of the intestines and have a pretty good prognosis? Yes. But late, it's difficult to say that. Yeah, I think the prognosis is also in part uh, dependent upon the age of the child. Uh, the more premature the infant, the greater the risk. Uh, this is a disease of prematurity in that the immune system is immature, which predisposes the infant to these uh, unsettling infections. If possible, and you, th you think you're going to end up with a small baby, or premature baby, I should say, it's better that kid is born at, at a center which has all the people available, so the best transfer is before the kid's born, not afterwards. Is that correct? Eh, probably true. Uh, I don't think the majority of infants who are born prematurely uh, develop necrotizing enterocolitis, so certainly not. Um, but they are certainly predisposed to it, much more so than a full-term 